Hi everyone, Susie here from Minnesota and Girl in a Zone for B. And this is kind of like part two to the beginning of August tour. Just a lot of ups and some downs. I love these containers. They have been amazing this year. The Artemisia is sea salt. Sea salt, it's fancy fillers. So it's just, they're wilting now because this is getting that west sun at about three o'clock in the afternoon. Came home, home from work, they're watered. I watered them yesterday. Uh, we did get about three inches of rain in the last three days here, so it was needed, but it is um, high humidity, high dew point. Feels like, I think at this moment, probably about 97. The humidity is a killer. Everything is looking pretty good here. Bobos look great. They're really good. Loving them. I love these day lilies just very delicate. I love it with the bobos. I just very soft, a very nice scent to them. Very perfumey. Tree is still looking really good. This is a hot wings to Terrian maple. It gets about 25 feet tall and wide, so it's not a huge tree. Gorgeous color. These are just the and they it does not seed all over. It's just it's gorgeous. At least in my zone, I'm a 4B. Looks great, Ahukra looks great, Palace Purple. A lot of these are seeds I started about three years ago. Feels so good right here, right now in the shade. I'm sure these containers, these containers will not have sun probably about from six o'clock. So when they get maybe three to four hours of sun, if. So that's why it's like, yes, it's west beating out the hot sun, but not long. So it's kind of hard, whether it's a shade or a, so it's a part sun. But yeah, the, the, they're just huge, these containers. I'm loving it. Uh, it's just a dragon wing begonia. I think it's the red one. And then just hip hop euphorbia in there. Just wilting because of the heat. They're not used to it. We've been so nice. This past week we've been hot. And when I say like humid hot, it's we're not in the hundreds or anything like that. But like I said, humidity is a killer. Uh, I got some cutbacks to do with the Alcamilla mollus, not yet. I have other things to cut back, you will see. Um, Sun Kings, Sun King Aralias are massive. Look at the black lace, finally getting to the where I wanted it to. Oh, that is gorgeous. I mean, it really is. There is a Siberian Cypress under there somewhere. Well, this feels good here. Just beautiful. Really like these containers. Very elegant. I'll probably probably do a lot of repeats next year. Just this year, it's been really easy to maintain these. Techni Arborvitae is doing really good. It's been struggling the last few years and finally putting on some height. Look at this mess. This is the Snow on the Mountain or Variegated Bishop's Weed. I'm just gonna come in here and hack it to the ground. I've never done that before. I'm hating this area this year, at least right now. In my town had sprayed from mosquitoes and just as, oh. I mean, we haven't been super dry a little bit, but even it didn't look like this last year in a drought. Grasses are looking good. I know they're gonna seed all over. I can hear it when I but that's just a blue fescue. It's really pretty though. I like that. Lots of rain just bent everything over. The hookra is gorgeous here, along with the pulmonaria. Rabbits do like the blue fescue. They've been mowing some down. And oh, look at that hookra, what can I say? I have to get in here and I have to cut so much of this back. This is gonna look so bare. This is an area that I need to spend a little time in and try and figure it out. This is, I think, a balloon flower. It's gorgeous, but you really can't see it. So I'm kind of excited to get in here and actually work in here, rethink it, rework it. And it's pretty, but some of this will not come back next year because it's kind of a biennial like this lickness. But you, I do have calamintha in there. You just can't see it. So I'm gonna, can you hear that? All that seed. That's okay. Uh, here I like Carl Forrester. He has stayed a little bit shorter. That's just, this is well-drained area. Very, this is hard to keep 
moist even with 20 inches of rain in June. Uh, I just don't know where to put it because my dump site, waste site, is closed right now due to construction. This is gorgeous. This is a begonia. It is, this is above and beyond climbing rose. It is thrown off some more blooms. But again, with this mess, it's just so hard to see certain things in this garden. So dreading and I, it and also can't wait. I have a macra, a kind of claw grass here. I think I'm gonna move this somewhere else. I just, that's not enough room for that. That's a thug. So I think I'm gonna put one more Hakana coal grass here. I'm debating if I wanna put, just so it creates a nice, they struggle in my zone. So I have to plant more than what the normal person would. They're just, but I do like them. I hope I like the macro a little bit better. Roses, I have to deadhead some of these, but they're putting on another flush. It's the Bonica. I wish this would have been, the hooker looks really good here. I do like this. I do like that color difference, but I wish this would have been in bloom because this is absolutely gorgeous. Maybe I'll have to do a quick blooms when that's open. I was just, I, I like daylilies. I don't I love them, but that, that one is very pretty. Um, but I am oops, liking kind of the flow. I have a lot of weeding to do in here. I'm like I stated, I cut my other tour a little bit short because my camera was getting, or my phone was getting really hot. So sorry if it, that sounded a little abrupt. But um, yeah, so I just have to, I was gonna edge. I do that when it's dry so I can shake off a lot of the soil and put it back. But with this rain again, but oh, lots and lots of weeding. But I do everything by myself. I have no help. But I do love to do everything except for I don't like to mow. I like the way it looks after mowing. I just don't like mowing. That being said, I have a battery operated lawnmower and I do like that. Much lighter, it's just so easy to start. Just push button and good to go. This is Karina feather reed grass I grew from seed. That's huge and just this year. That is amazing to me. This is a limelight. So this gets less sun as we progress through summer. So it may not be as spectacular as a lot of the limelights. This gets a lot of sun in May and June and early July. That's why the roses look so good earlier in the season and less later. A pepper, no, something peach. Georgia peach, not paprika. Rabbits like paprika, stay away from that one. But that's Georgia peach hookra, I love that. It'll be looking great under that limelight when it gets, that's pretty good. I had moved this earlier in the season, so not too bad. Sun Kings, they look really good. They will get big, that's why they're spaced the way they are. Um, but if you can see, that's one of my tree roots. I mean, it's massive. And it goes here too from the trees that were taken down. So that's just going to have to slowly decay over time. Um, oh yeah. I do have, I did plant some anemones. I am a zone 4B. I have a hard time growing them and getting them to come back. I think it's honoring, honoring Chab Chobert, something like that. Again, in my zone, they're not thugs. This is a hardy geranium. Looks Bevan's variety. It'll be fine. That I moved that, so it's. What is this? Probably corn. Yeah. Don't you just love the sound of it when weeds come out? When you're pulling them, it's like the best sound ever, especially when you get that root. Looking back, it doesn't look bad, but I'm just, but I love it. These are doing okay, like I said. May not be the best for later in the season, just because they don't, they're not very prolific. But a rabbit did get to this rose here, but I'm not overly impressed with Sceptered Isle. So I think I'm just gonna say goodbye to this and I might just do another Annabelle over here and have it fill in. 
feels really good right here. It's always been a garden that I struggled with and I think it's just the shape of it. It's more rectangular and I do better with like circles and ovals. I just feel that this garden, this is different. It's not your traditional rose garden because there are one, two, three, four, five, six roses in here. I mean, with sun kings and hookahs and, but at least there's gonna be some fall interest, maybe not this year, since I they were seeds I started this year. But um, I do have some early interest. That's a baptisia in there too. At least the anemones also will give some later interest. So. Even with the three inches of rain that we got, my sump pump's not pushing out. So this is just a little makeshift bird bath for when it pumps. So we were a little dry. So the rain was appreciated. Um, it is just, this is the south side. So granted, these are, I, I used to have two huge trees if you're not familiar with my channel. So these just bake in the south sun. Lots of rain, they're okay. I still would not, even in a northern climate, say plant hostas in a full sun situation on the south side of a house because that would just be dumb. They Lots of hail damage from this year, but they do burn, especially later in the season. This pulmonaria uh, silver bouquet is just, it's gorgeous. It's just not liking the sun at this time. Bleached out curly fries hosta. Again, I am missing my trees. I love my shade gardens. So, still doing okay. Hmm, anything really spectacular in here? I, I deadheaded all of, I cut off all the bloom stalks about two weeks ago of the hostas, and this is, it's crazy. They're, they are happy this year, but oh. I do really like this. There's like a flow to this garden that I like a lot better than that one. Uh, maybe it's just because once I get in there and cut, and especially this mess. Like I know I said in the other tour, um, I really don't like my curtains in August. I don't know if I showed you this Adelia. I probably did. I, I'm not sure where I started and stopped with the uh, Waltz and Matilda. I do like that here because there's not a lot of color. It might be a little weird with some hostas. But hopefully this sumac at some point gets... Well, it is getting taller. Especially... Whew, look at that blue sky. Okay. I'm appreciating that. And this container looks really good over here. These grasses, honestly, they were clearance plants last year that... I got from Great Garden Plants, and they were supposed to be, I think Niagara Falls. I forget what. I don't think they are because they do not have a blue tinge. So I'm wondering if they're more of the Korean feathery grass and were mislabeled. So I don't know. They'll, they'll still look good there. I do like all the textures in this garden. And that hookra, that was a seed I started two years ago. Oh, that's mine. Still throwing off a bunch of blooms. This is where I have so much weeding to do. And not that the weeding in there is difficult to do, but it's like the last thing I focus on because I focus on deadheading first, especially when it's hot like this. And obviously watering and then picking, but but yeah, I, but oh, the grass needs some mowing. At least on my lawnmower, I can set it to four inches, which I will have to do. But I do really like this area here. I don't think I'm going to do anything different here except for probably move that lamb's ear. That's just, after seeing that, I'm like, ah, that's not enough room. We're going to come over here. I know I showed you this before, but. 
so yeah so maybe shocking to you i did say it. cottage garden is my least favorite over there there's there's just so much work here there it's not besides just taking off the bloom stalks of the hostas this is just kind of a leave it alone garden and it's just so peaceful over here some of them are really pretty like this is that's pristine so I am leaving that. Some bloom stalks are prettier than others. Like that one I'm really liking. I'm just surprised that the mosquitoes are pretty good. Being dry for a little bit has helped. I just wanted to show you, so I did say I was going to deadhead all of my pelargoniums and I did look at I have that whole bucket just it shoved in there packed down and then I just didn't have room so now it's laying in the grass I know it's a mess but I'll pick those up and then I'll mow and then I'll mulch it and we'll be fine but I mean they look kind of pitiful but I don't think I'm gonna give them a shot of fertilizer till probably Sunday when the temps drop a little bit I'm just gonna leave them be for the time being. They still look pretty good. Nice green leafy foliage. Oh, so this is where, yep, the rabbits like the blue fescue. I'm not, I'm not keeping this here. Again, that's too close, too crowded. I'm kind of standing back and going, where can I do some crowd control? This area isn't bothering me so much as, look, it's just like a graveyard of pelargonium heads. That didn't sound right. That really didn't. Um, I mean, no disrespect. But yeah, this garden over here has a lot of beauty and it also has a lot of work. But I guess that's, that's every garden, every area. Eventually, I don't know, I'm really still thinking I might go to more shrubs. I'm not old, but as I get older, I think they're just going to be less maintenance. Like over here. I don't know if I showed you. I probably did. But I have another hardy hibiscus here. It's just going to be a red one. But this is a later bloomer. I've just been keeping my eye on these. Because I know Japanese beetles like them. I normally don't have a lot of issues with Japanese beetles. Last year I saw one. This year I had about five that I've seen. So I've just kind of been on the lookout. And just stay on top of that. Yeah, so I had a viewer ask me what this is. So this is a type of lamium. So this isn't, there is a lamium that I like. It's got like a pink, bloom, purple. I forget what they're, oh, there's an orchid something. So there's different ones. This is lamia strum. And then this was just, I think four or five years ago, I picked this up in like the annual trailers and I had this in a container and so a little piece of it rooted and it just spread like wildfire so this one is horrible can you see how long these runners are so I just keep pulling I mean and then what they do is this is not something I put in my compost bin it's like right now I'm just gonna put it on the ground and then get rid of it but I'll show you here so I don't I've got a lot of invasive stuff in my gardens and this I did not plant I didn't plant creeping Jenny which I'm trying to get rid of that's a horrible but yeah so wherever it touches it roots so I'm really trying to keep it out of the path here but some of these can you see how long that is just horrible so garden centers really should like creeping Jenny that should come with a warning I know a lot of you like planting it as a ground cover I hate it I just I won't even have it in my containers anymore I know it's free plants I get that but 
it's just it took over and it does smother your plants at some point this will too so i have to keep up on top of that when you think how big from here to here all the way around and how much i pull every year it is not i walk on it i don't care but this is where it just will I just so be careful yeah garden centers need to kind of label plants as just be careful invasive plant with caution um, that snow on the mountain or bishop's weed is one that lily of the valley all of those that is just something lily of the valley I got from a friend and as a first-time gardener didn't know and a lot of plants I got from her were just invasive so lesson learned. And then along with the plant she gave me came creeping bellflower. So I just, I've been struggling with a lot of the plants she's given me and just kind of learning to just accept some of it. But yeah, so. But yeah, I mean, that is, I go through with the weed whip lawnmower that controls it, but mm -mm. And it stinks too. It's really horrible smelling. So yeah, this wasn't as long, not as colorful as over here. I just, my phone overheats really quick and long videos just do not work for uploading for me. Just too much memory. I do like the longer ones just to get one and done, but yeah. So... Now that I got the deadheading done there, I'll probably go deadhead the dahlias. And then I don't know, maybe tackle the variegated bishop's weed. All right, so hopefully you enjoyed. I'm here having, I'm, I'm having fun in my garden. I'm just in need to cool down every once in a while. And uh, yeah, so hopefully you enjoyed. Bye for now.